you're in June. The holiday shuffle has begun. It's six months until ho, 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 Santa Claus, Kwanzaa, whatever you decide to do or do nothing. Okay? Or maybe it's just a month for you. Maybe you're traveling. Maybe you're doing all kinds of things. Okay? We're traveling in December. The whole family is going away. So whatever you're going to do, but we got to get ready because this is the month of reset. You're taking each day or a few days or maybe just sit down a whole week and keep thinking, how am I going to change my binders? What do I got to do to this budget? Maybe I need a new budget book. Maybe I need something else to get kickstart this budget. Or maybe you're just resetting your life. Maybe you decided, I want to meet more people. I want to learn to swim. I want to go on vacation. I want to go on a girl's trip. I want to go on a single's trip. I want to go with another couple. Two couples or three, they're going on trips. Maybe your family, you want to take them several special, special places. Maybe within the city. There's a lot of places in your city probably that has something, or maybe it's the next city over. Maybe you want to go to more events. Maybe you've never been to a baseball game, a real one, a football game, a real one, not on TV, okay, a real basketball game. Maybe you want to go to another state. I don't know what you want to do, but you're resetting your life if you have to, if you're not cash stuffing. You're resetting your thoughts, and how you feel. Maybe you're just resetting you and thinking, what do I need to do to make myself special? Maybe I want to be different. Maybe I want to go buy a wig and put on. I don't know what you want to do. Okay. Reset. Restart. It's okay. That's what we got to figure out. It's okay. People will tell you it's not okay. Oh, you just, you look fine. You may not look fine because you don't feel fine. It's within you. So change up. You're allowed to change. You're allowed to do what you want to do. You're allowed to go through what you want to go through. So change up. If you got to do the budget again, you want new envelopes to spice things up and be more summery. Okay, because summer is coming. What? The 21st. And I am a summer baby. I was born on the 23rd. And Frugality is Life was born on the 18th. And I think somebody else told me they were having a birthday this month. And I totally forgot because I was like, oh, really? You know, so there's three of us and I got to figure out who the other one is. If it's you, write it in the comments because I totally forgot. I wrote it down, but I totally forgot. So I hope you are going to reset because I'm resetting. I'm resetting. This is the big reset. I may change something around. I may do this. Okay. Whole life resetting. I'm even here at the home, at my home, at the businesses. We are resetting. What do we need to change? What do we need to do? Maybe you need to reset to bring in more money. Maybe you need to reset to put money in different places. Maybe that where you got it is not working for you. Maybe you got it invested someplace and you need to pull it out because inflation is not working. You know, some things are they're going down. They're not going up. But even though inflation is for the wealthy, the wealthy love and they love inflation. Okay, because they're getting rich off of inflation because everything is high and we're the ones paying for it. We're paying for everything. Even our taxes pay for things. They pay for things we don't want them to pay for. It would be nice if we could choose where our taxes go. But think of things that you don't like going on in the world. You're paying for it. <laughs> with your taxes, even though you may not sign on, on to it, okay? You may not have wanted it to go there, but it's there. But rethink. Rethink. Maybe you're doing donations to people. Rethink. You know, can I afford this? There's a lot of people that donate, do tithing, and you're broke. And sometimes you got to think, too, with churches are they going to help you when you're down and out? Can you really think if you go to that church and you couldn't pay your mortgage, okay, would they give you your mortgage money for mortgage to help you out? 
would they give it to you? And see, that's when I start thinking, if you can't help me, I can't help you. And so we really, we don't tithe. I told you we do, if the bus, school bus breaks down, we get together, we all pay for the bus, blah, blah, blah. And, and our pastor knows that. <laughs> he knows it because we're not doing it. You know, we, <laughs> that's a building. It needs help. We pray. That's what, that's who we go to. Okay. If we need that really big help, you know, you're just the messenger and we can get messages from God too. I don't need you to intercede with God. And I, we understood that. And so fine, we're happy. But if you tithe, go right ahead. I am not putting you down. You do what you got to do with your life, right? I am not in your life. <laughs> I'm not in it at all. So today, June 1st, happy June 1st, everybody. Happy Saturday, whenever this video comes out, because we know how things are going. And um, make sure that you watch, I will tell you, your videos that you made starting May 14th on and check your descriptions because there seems to have been a problem with our master YT. Something happened. Don't know for sure what happened, but something happened. And a lot of people's descriptions may not look like what you wrote on there. So check from May 14th on. I would say, they say May the something, May 17th or something. I would check all of them from May 14th on. Maybe even go back a day to May 13th and see what's going on, right? So here we are. We are ready for June. And uh, all our little happiness, let me put that away. And so congrats to the winners on May 31st at my giveaway live. And I'm glad everybody that wanted to show up or could show up, let me put it that way, you were there. Yeah, I'm glad that you made it. I know some were late, some people are working, people do things, <laughs> you know. And I understand because I can't even get to the lives. I look up and the live from people are gone. I'm like, well, that didn't work. So I will be doing another um, giveaway with... Sadie J and go to her channel. She needs subscribers, but it's money boss in the making. This is all together. I just separated it and go to her channel because we, she has invented a game and I will be giving that game away. She will be giving that game away to a winner. And I think we're going to do it next week sometime, give you some time, but it's a short giveaway. And you have to subscribe, of course, same same story to my and her channel, okay? Money Boss in the Making, Sadie J is up there. Okay, so another thing we're going to do, because I had seen, um, what's her name? The Nightlife. She is, she booked her trip to Puerto Rico, and we were going to Puerto Rico in the summer, which summer is starting, as far as I'm concerned. Man, you hit June, it's over. Okay, but um, like I'm saying about the spring reset, before I forget, remember, you need to add up all your money from, make sure from January to June and keep track of it so you know how much you have. So this is the reset. You're counting your challenges from March, really, was the first reset, and to June, if you kept up or if not, you're just trying to count and keep together for the end of the year on December the 31st so that you know, you don't have to tell us, but you know how much you saved up and you can see how much money is coming into your life. It may be gas money. It could be anything. Okay, so back to the nightlife. Anyway, they're going to Puerto Rico soon. I can't remember. But anyway, they're going to Puerto Rico this summer. Let me put it that way. And so she had gotten reservations for that. Uh, my Puerto Rico trip, we were going in the summer, and my mom changed plans because we don't like cold weather. It's not cold down there, but we don't like cold weather where we're at because it will be probably snowing here, and the temperature will be down. And another thing, she likes Disney. So we're going to Puerto Rico during Christmas. And she wants to be at Disney during Christmas. She's never been there during Christmas. And she decided that's when our trip is. Now, the other problem is that 
I have to announce again, where are we going next year? <laughs> so you know who's back. The vacation binder. <laughs> so we got to decide so that in December, I can announce, I'll announce it on the 31st, where the family is going for next year. All right. So here we go. Let me find my little thingies, tools over here. I'll we'll use the red one. There you are. And we've got, so we've got Canada, Dominican Republic, Dominica, Dominican Republic, um, Egypt. Israel has a circle because you know there are problems there and they're not too keen on going, but if it falls on there, I don't think, I think we'll be doing second best, definitely. Jamaica, Japan, Paris, Spain, the UAE, which is Dubai, Saudi Arabia thing, United Kingdom, and I took out Puerto Rico, which is here, because we're already going. So, it doesn't get a chance this year. So, and then I'm going to have to replace this with something. And I may have to replace this one, because there, just nobody's... They don't want to go during wartime or anything happening over there. So if you think of a place to go, write it in the comments. Okay, think of a place to go. I don't know yet. I haven't thought about it. <laughs> I did think about it, but I haven't did it. So let's see what's going to happen. Let me get this in frame, I hope. We'll try. Okay, that's more for me than you anyway, so you move. All right. Number five, which is Israel. <laughs> says, and come on anyway. No, <laughs> they don't want to go. Okay, For, forget, because I'll be sitting there going, I don't like it turned that way. Okay, number eight is Paris. Come on. Number two is Dominica. Number three is the Dominican Republic. Number 12, we don't have, but at all, so I'm not gonna do that one right now. Well, let me see. Let me see how to do that because we are going to replace this envelope. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn this one backwards. How's that? Till we figure out where we're going. And then my daughter can make um, some more wherever we're going. So this is the unknown. <laughs> okay. Number seven is Japan. Do, 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 do. Yeah, two went to Japan. Ten is the UAE. Let's see what that nine. Nine is Spain. No, not that far back. Come on. Where are you? There you are. Four is Egypt. Egypt was going last year. It was like, hmm. Okay, number... No, we said the other one was nine, so I'm going to say six. I know it's backwards, but no. Me and this going back and forth is not working. Jamaica. Eight is Paris. Two is Dominica. Four is Egypt. One is Jamaica. No, one is Canada. I'm reading the bottom. One is Canada again. 
10 is the UAE. Four is Egypt. Four is Egypt. Oh, yes, it is. Okay. Five is Israel. And we'll probably replace that right now. And nobody wants to be aware while anybody's fighting. If any of these countries start fighting, <laughs> we're going to replace the envelope. <laughs> okay, number two. One, two is Dominica. We got one more left. Who do you think we're going to get? Let's see. Let's close it up and go bibbidi bobbidi boo Let's see who comes up. Number eight is Paris. All right. So let's kind of see who is the winner. Because, well, I won't put an extra one. I'll be good this time. Next time. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I do have a place over extra money. So, Canada has $2. Who was the winner today? And then, um, Dominica has 3 You've got one for the Dominican Republic. Egypt has three, so it's a tie there. Nobody else here. Israel, two. And for those that came late, no, we're not going. They were having a war. One is Jamaica. Japan's one. Paris is three. We don't have anybody with four yet. Let's see. Oh. Spain is one. I thought Spain had more than that. UAE, two. United Kingdom, none. And one for the unknown. <laughs> so, I hope we'll figure it out. Nobody won, but we have a three-way tie. So, we'll see what happens, okay? And we will be announcing in December. Where is the family of the bear going cash bear mama's family okay and they're waiting too where are they eagerly going so i hope you have a great day we are in june i will be starting these no spend again for the days that i don't spend i'm not pushing it you know <laughs> I, I only push it is if i overspend you know and then then you know i'm in trouble but i haven't been doing that so <laughs> enjoy yourself Review, reset, it's time. Get yourself together. You know, save up if you need to buy stuff. Don't worry about it. Keep going. Keep your life together. If you got to fix things, now's the time to do it. Fix it, okay? Take care. Love you all. Bye-bye. I appreciate you.